All right, welcome back. We've been speaking with mayors across Connecticut for the past couple of weeks about how the pandemic is impacting their communities. And tonight we are joined by Mayor David Martin of Stamford and Naugatuck Mayor Pete Hess. And uh, Mayor Martin, I'd like to start with you. Uh, we're all watching the COVID-19 numbers go up in almost all of the metrics. Uh, Stanford is uh, all the neighborhoods are in that uh, red alert territory, but something caught my eye. You're doing wastewater testing there in Stanford. And if I read the chart correctly, the concentrations of what you're looking for there actually peaked in mid November and have been dropping ever since. Just wanted to ask you how significant that is to you. And, and does that give you hope? It gives me some hope, absolutely, um, uh, for your, um, the way that works is that they test the wastewater for the remains of the RNA virus, the coronavirus. There's no coronavirus in the wastewater, it's kind of destroyed, but they can still detect what's left over. And um, the, it peaked and then it's dropped back down, but you should understand it's dropped back down and it's kind of going flat right now. But it's still at very high levels. I mean, it stopped climbing, but it's still at a dizzying high level. So a little bit more hope that at least we have stopped the climb. And if they can continue this, at least it won't get worse. But it's already so bad um, here and throughout Connecticut that um, it's hard to say I have hope. I'd like to see those numbers fall down sure. um, rather than just stop climbing. Right. All right, Mayor Hess, uh, in your uh, Friday update on your uh, borough's website, you mentioned Unified Command meeting every day. I just wanted to ask you, who comprises that Unified Command there, and what are you working on right now? Well, it consists of myself, our emergency management director, police chief, assistant police chief, fire chief, assistant fire chief. And right now we're tweaking our, our vaccine dissemination plan, and... Uh, we actually had a plan that goes back to 2011, but we're modifying it. Uh, of course, we don't know exactly what the state is going to do, but in Naugatuck, we're ready to go, and we're, you know, we're looking forward to uh, disseminating the vaccine. How, how much does the does the vaccine dissemination uh, infrastructure, I guess? Uh, mirror the uh, testing infrastructure. Is there any cross-pollination there or are you just like starting over reinventing the wheel for the vaccine? I, I guess you could say reinventing the wheel since we've never done it before. We only have testing in Naugatuck one day a week and it's only been for the last couple of weeks. So um, our local tests and our results have changed a little, but um, we're focused more on, on the solution right now and and getting the vaccine out and trying to get ahead of the curve. Of course, we need the state to help us with that. Yeah. Uh, Mayor Martin, back to you. Uh, in, in a slide presentation that you put together that I was uh, that I was watching, there's a section called Why Are We Surging? And you mentioned the things we would expect, phase three, schools, sports, uh, holiday gatherings. But you talk about the, G, uh, the D614G mutation uh, and I don't want to get too scientific about that, don't want to get too inside baseball, but I did want to ask about that because I've been reading about it since uh, last summer. Uh, you call that a super spreader, and one of the reasons why uh, you're seeing a lot of COVID-19 in, uh, in your town right now. Well, we did a, um, we actually do, um, we've started a weekly Zoom meeting that we have with the community at large. It's live streamed, and I think that's what you're referring to. We had Dr. Perry, who's the head of infectious diseases at Stanford Hospital, and he specifically raised that. And this mutation in coronavirus, he said it didn't make it more, um, let me see if I get my terms right. Didn't make it more virulent, uh, more dangerous, but it made it more um, um, contagious than it was before. And as a result, it was, you know, coronavirus was already much more contagious than the flu. And what I'm saying, it's even more contagious now in this new strain. And it's hard to know how much that's contributing. Um, I happen to believe, and I, you know, the, in our schools are, there does not appear to be spreading going on in the schools. We've measured that we're constantly on that. So the schools um, seem to be safe. Um, 
Interestingly enough, the hospital, uh, I am told, is the same thing. The, despite all those nurses and doctors that are exposed to coronavirus, they have protocols in place, you know, the masks and the hand washing and the gloves. They're very careful and their incidence of coronavirus is actually lower than the incidence that we have in the general community. Um, the spreading, I think, is mostly due to we're tired of this and people are not being as vigilant as they need to be. And as they come indoors and the air circulation is left less, you actually need to increase your vigilance. And particularly if this mutation is making this virus more communicable. Mm -hmm. All right. And I want to ask you both just for a one or two uh, word answer. And I think I know what that word's going to be. But what gives you both hope right now? Um, Mayor Hess? Well, the vaccine, you know, I, I look at this as the beginning of the end. Um, and also, you know, the spirit of our citizens. You know, in Naugatuck, we use the phrase Naugy Strong, and our community is Naugy Strong, and we're sticking together and fighting, and we're, we're doing well given what we have. But we're really looking forward to, uh, to the vaccine, to bring this to a conclusion. And Mayor Martin, same, same question. Vaccine? Yes, and I would say absolutely the vaccine. We can now see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but at the same time, I want to warn people, the, the general distribution of this vaccine is probably in the spring. We have a few months to go. Right. And so while that's hopeful, and I know you only wanted one word answer, the other thing is so many national experts are saying the next four weeks during these holidays, if we're not careful, they're going to be the worst health crisis that America has ever had. So I'm urging everyone, you know, be careful. Um, yes, we love to be with friends and family during the holidays. Um, let's, let's, let's not do what we usually do and keep that coronavirus at bay. Yeah, that's, the, that's actually the message from a lot of experts right now. Stanford Mayor David Martin and Naugatuck Mayor Pete Hess, uh, thank you both for joining us today and best of luck to you and your constituents moving forward. Thank you.